things. The the reason that we're in Thailand at the moment, uh, we're just here for a short break basically, which is two week. Uh, uh, two weeks is not really a long time. Wait until now. Is that we've bought a house um, and it's a new build, and it's about five weeks away from uh, completion, and so we're here to actually just see it for the first time. And it's in Hatiai, and it's about. Um, it's say it's about five five kilometers I think seven kilometers actually away from uh, Hatiai International Airport which is a fantastic location because you know you, you can get you can get all over the place you know you can fly up to Bangkok for a weekend uh, you, you can go to the islands you can basically just fly in from from home and you know there's no hassle after the airport you're there and it's it's a beautiful property it's a it's a detached property and we're going to be seeing it for the first time and we're going to window seat not good Hey guys, welcome once again to Ian's vlog. What's going on today? We have a little bit of a surprise going on. Um, we've kept it very quiet until now, but there's something which we've been holding back, which we haven't told. Um, nobody knows that we've got this this thing, this plan going together, but we have bought a house in Thailand. And this is what this video is about. We're going to show you for the first time um, the wonderful little house which we bought in. Uh, in Hatiai, which is in the south of Thailand, and the location of the house is, uh, is excellent. It's right on the airport, international airport, so uh, mobility is not going to be a problem. Um, and what, what we'd like to do now is to show you the phase, it's the building phase. Uh, at the moment, we're, we're five months away from, from the moving date, and we, we've seen you know, we've seen on paper, we've seen um, photographs and, and videos and sample houses and, and all the rest of it, but we've not physically seen the site yet, so that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to show I, want, I want to show you uh, one or two things that you can be doing when you do come to Thailand or if you do come to Thailand. Um, we at the moment, we're a couple of hours drive from Hatiai, um, so you know, the, the location is, you're close to the islands, you're, you're close to the coastline, you're close to the city, you're close to the airport, you know, it, it's, a, it's a holiday home with, with, with a lot to offer. And a couple of noisy ones up there, and the coconut trees. So let's just spin around and see the things that are on offer in this beautiful country. Yeah, that's 
a little house where we're staying at the moment. It's kind of a villa on the beach. Um, very small place, very convenient. I mean, all, all you need basically is a bed, shower. It's got a little bit more than that though. It's got like a uh, TV and, and the rest of it, sliding doors. And... So what we got there, we got a bit of bread, a couple of sausages, eggs, uh, sunflower, margarine, <laughs> jam, some nice little flowers there to make it look nice. And then obviously we've got the chicken soup, chicken, uh, sorry, um, well it's, it's kind of a chicken base soup, it's got prawns and everything inside it. And then we're going to throw the ginger, your greens, aromatics, peppers, probably some salt mixed in there too, that'll go inside it. And then moving over a bit, let's have a look inside this freaky little basket there. That's gonna be, let's have a guess shall we? Let's have a guess. No, I can't guess. We're gonna have to try one. <laughs> Could you just give me a second or two to explain where we are? Uh, we're down on the coast, a couple of hours drive away from what we call home. Um, it's in the province of Nakon Sitamarat and it's in the resort town called Sishon. And we're in a resort called uh, JD. Uh, it's really fantastic, you know, it's got great beaches, it's got uh, great places to stay, the huts where we're staying, great restaurant, a really good restaurant actually, you know, I mean, uh, the lady cooking there, she does real good traditional Thai food, you know, so here is the first part of the vlog, it's a travel vlog, and it's from JD and Seashore, see you later. This is not sailing. It's got nothing to do with sailing. Like, <laughs> don't go back. Ah, God. <laughs> go that way. What, what, what's that? What's all, what's all that? I used my my feet. You need to do the work. Here, hold that. You want to go back? Yes. You want to go back towards the coastline so you can turn the boat. Like that. Steady it. And then move. So we're at the house. Um, keep repeating myself here, but we're here for the first time. We're physically seeing the house um, in in all its in all its glory and we are again it's been mentioned five months away from uh, from moving we're still in the building phase but things seem to be moving and what we're going to do now we're going to take a look at the house from the front side it's 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 enormous it really is or so it seems. At the front there you've got the carport and on the kind of right hand side and left hand side you've got kind of garden areas but looking at the facade from the front you can see they've got the main entrance there. Yeah let's not let's not forget this this is a neighborhood this is a village um, it's a brand new village it's a gated community and I think I think that's an interesting feat. Let's let's step let's step inside a little bit that's from from the outside to the inside for the first time and take a look around. Yeah, that'll be sort of the garden outside area. All this is going to be landscaped and obviously the walls going to be treated. Um, 
a nice area, very, very nice area. And then we have this, uh, this enormous gate here, which will close when we're not around. Again, it will be treated as will the, uh, the surrounding walls. And then, you know, we'll, we'll be planting tr uh, trees and bushes and shrubs and everything. So, whoa, here we are. There we go, guys. This is now uh, the living room area. The son of the owner uh, is on site at the moment and he's supervising the guy who will be uh, finalizing the staircase. And that's what they're doing at the moment. They're looking into the detail of the staircase. As, as I previously mentioned, you know, I wasn't very happy with the standard staircase, so I've upgraded it. Um, yeah, the man's here, the son, and he seems to be like, you know, the project manager, 20 Club. He's like the project manager, uh, but he is making a very, very good impression. He seems to have everything under control. His, uh, his, his attention to detail seems to be uh, at an admirable standard. And I've asked him, one of, there's been one or two questions which I've, I've uh, been looking for, for answers and they've been answered or so with uh, satisfactory comments. Oh, there's an aeroplane just going over that just showed you how close we are to Hatia International Air. It doesn't disturb me one bit. I've lived close to airports all my life. You know, in, in England, in Switzerland, you know, I've, I've been close to airports and I've, I've only taken the positives. You know, I don't see, I don't see any noise issues. Um, I can only see the positives of, of uh, living close to an international airport. Let's have a look, see what's uh, what's going on upstairs. Little man's on his way out on his bike. So what has the little man been doing? I think he's been doing the, the woodwork. He's off on his bike, but he's still got his, his music on there. The master bedroom. The master en suite. There we go. Lovely, yeah? Very nice again, timing throughout. The, actually, the quality of the timing is the, the finishing aspect. So, throughout the house, which has been very impressive, you know, I've been keeping an eye on that. Yeah, so that's the, uh, the ensuite for the master bedroom. Moving into the master bedroom now, we can see that it's a good size. Uh, there'll be a king size bed going down there. Yeah, that's what he's doing. You can see the finishing there. He's been working on the on the woodwork, and uh, <laughs> whatever it's a wall. That's what it is. And of course, the the glazing, the glazing will finish the bedroom off nicely. What kind of view do we have? Yeah, a couple of palm trees and some nice foresty area. Some very posh houses at the back there. There are some enormous properties. Outside the sample house, so we can basically have a look um, at the same perspectives that we've just seen. Uh, but you'll you'll see the house when it's been glazed. When, yeah, when it's finished. What more can we say? Let's just have a look, huh? Here we go. There is the house in all its beauty. You can see that the wall has now been, uh, it's now been touched up. It's been finished, as is the, the gate work. And the glazing is in. And even the landscaping. There we go, the landscaping here is also complete. Those two little palm trees, they'd be nice to have. There's another one growing down there. Maybe we can steal that. There we have like the front patio area, which you can do a lot of things with, you know, if you want kind of an outside bamboo table and all the rest of it, uh, you can do whatever you want. Let's just, let's just keep on the outside, on the exterior while we're here, go around. You can see now the finishing is very good. Again, the sliding gate and the wall, everything's been finished and but, oh, and there we go. We have another patio area. This is this is uh, <laughs> this is quite this is quite a surprise to me even. And then of course we have the second bedroom balcony up there. Living area. We can see the glazing now has 
been installed and it looks magnificent <laughs> really does uh, it's really you know it takes my breath away it really takes my breath away so they the, obviously the furnishings are in um, I don't like this all this box and stuff there I don't like it at all here we have the sliding doors into the back patio area And of course the back patio looks landscaping complete. Dining. And the kitchen area. There's a man in my toilet. There's a man in my toilet. There's the kitchen. The kitchen, sorry, there's the bathroom. Um, looking very nice. And then as we move on, we've got them the stairs in. We have a fitness center, uh, a traditional Thai traditional medicine and physical therapy. Also, uh, this is the tea life, and Gif is going to show us around. She's got VIP access. Oh, it's got a coffee. Yeah. any time of the day day and night so they got a little coffee here they they got the pool area they've got all the machines to work out in and it's literally spitting distance spitting distance from the front door 